This is for the third technique of stippling. And yes, I turned my paper upside down and that's so that I didn't have to move my camera, but I could get to where I needed to on my space. And stippling is one of my favorite techniques to use. And it's when you use dots to build up value. And please be patient with it. It's actually really fun, especially in smaller spaces. And it's a great way to build up value um, using marks that are just dots. So with stippling, again, I'm going from light to dark. You're going to start with just spaced out dots. And again, your steps here, you want to make sure that you are creating the same value all the way across in this first step. If you were using a pencil for the other two first, you definitely want to probably start with your ink pen on this one. Now that I have my first value all the way across, I'm going in with the second and adding another layer of dots. And I bet that you get the idea of what's about to happen is that we're just going to use dots and dots and lots of dots to build up the values in each of the spaces, which is correct. So I have my second dot, and then I'm gonna to go to the third box and add even more dots. Make sure that you are keeping control of your mark making tool. On this one, it is easy to get too dark too soon, but basically the closer that your dots become, the darker the value that you will be creating. So the more dense that your dots become, the darker your value. I'm going to go over to my fourth box. Never do you just draw circles for stippling. You just keep it at a stipple. You're building in those dots to create darker value. All right, so for my last one, my last go through, you see here I have four different values. I am going to go back on my fifth one and make sure that I go over it again to make it darker than box four. Make sure that you're going all the way to the edges. And it should be really becoming darker than box four. And again, just like on the hatching and the cross hatching, what I'm noticing is that box four and three are very similar. I'm going to try to make five even darker. That way I can go back and fix four and three.
So now you see I have more of a gradual change in my values from lightest to darkest. 